as we look to the future, we're going to have several competing challenges. We're going to have a large number of forces committed to combat for a while. And, and I'm not making policy, I'm just preparing the Army for that. Whether a soldier is deploying this year or next year or the year after that, they'll be deploying. So as an Army, we have to maintain our combat edge. We have to stay focused on our ability to prepare our soldiers for war. But the thing that, that we'll be competing with that is probably the other half, uh, ha half of the Army will be reconstituting from 10 years at war. And we have to do both of those things while we build resilience for the long haul. And I want our leadership thinking about how we balance those three things. Because we, we can't fail in combat. We have to reconstitute the force after a decade at war. And the force is tired, so we have to do both of those first things in a way that really strengthens us for the long haul. Part of that formula is the health of the Army. It's critical. Is the Comprehensive Soldier Fitness Program meeting the needs? I, I think it's starting to get some traction. You know, over 900,000 soldiers have taken the online assessment tool that understand where they are and where their strengths lie in the five key areas of fitness, physical, emotional, social, spiritual, and family. The challenge we're having is getting the number of master resilience trainers up, sergeants who've been trained to help soldiers understand how to build strengths in the five areas of fitness. Is there a stigma attached to this at all? We, we still have to work hard to get reduce the stigma, particularly down at the company and platoon level. That's where I think we haven't quite cracked yet. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television, Atlanta.